Hello, my name is Carson Blickenstaff, and I will be diving into a scene from one of my favorite movies, Interstellar, directed by Christopher Nolan. Our scene begins with a close-up of a daughter, Murph, and her father, Cooper, as she tries to convince him to stay, because the ghost in her bookshelf communicated to her that he should. Stay. It says stay, Dad. As the discussion continues, we see several almost shot reverse shots take place between these two. We also see shots where each of them are placed within the frame, and by doing this it allows us to always see the emotions of each character, and since the focus switches from face to face, it directs our eye to which character we should be paying attention to in that moment. Because of these shot and editing choices, we can clearly see that Cooper really doesn't want to leave his daughter, but at the same time, he knows that it is what he must do to ultimately protect her. To further capture our attention throughout the scene, the lens only focuses on the subjects, leaving the background blurred near black hole. Time's gonna change for me. And it's gonna run more slowly. Another thing that is happening throughout this entire scene is that as Cooper attempts to calm Murph down and actually ends up making it worse, the music starts to very slowly build. It will continue to build and as it does it builds tension for the moment when Cooper finally does leave, communicating to us the emotional significance of this moment to both Murph and Cooper. I have no idea when you're coming back. No idea. Oh! Murph, don't, don't mind, don't make me leave like this. Come on, Murph. Don't make me leave like this, Murph. Time and how it shrinks and expands are very important in this film, so it is interesting that we just saw a shot reverse shot between the two characters and the two watches. This foreshadows the, that importance of the concept of time later in the film, and also gets us thinking about the theory of relativity that Cooper was trying to explain to Murph. Also, on top of that, we see Murph throw the watch across the room, and since the camera follows this action, it signifies to us that the watch is important and we will be seeing it later in the film. As Cooper is leaving Murph's room, another book drops from the shelf, and the shot cuts back to Cooper. This allows us to see the flicker of doubt on his face, almost as if he's asking himself, what if there is a ghost? Gotta go. I'm fine. It's fine. As Cooper walks outside and says his goodbyes, we have a very wide-angle shot of the farm that he's leaving behind. But when Cooper pulls his son close, it transitions to a more shallow lens for this shot reverse shot with his son. This signifies to us the importance of this moment between father and son, and possibly their final farewell. Hey, can I use your truck while you're gone? I mean your truck. I'll make sure they bring him back. The music is still building as this scene plays out, and as Cooper gets into the truck and starts to drive away, two really interesting things happen. The music really kicks in, and which gives us a certain finality to Cooper's departure. And we see a shot, almost as if from the side mirror, that shows dust being kicked up from the truck. This use of depth and space puts the dust between Cooper and his family and makes it look like he is vanishing, like a ghost. This small but very genius move foreshadows exactly that. Cooper becomes the ghost that is trying to communicate with Murph. The music continues to build and we hear the voice of Cooper counting down to the launch. And finally we reach the climax of the scene with the launch of the rocket, symbolizing to us the eruption of emotion that both Cooper and his family feel. One, booster ignition and... As the rocket is blasting away from Earth, we can see that he almost has the same look on his face as when he was driving away from his family. This shot tells us that he is still thinking about Murph and how reluctant he is to leave his family behind, even for the sake of humanity.